This is <laughs> this is the PSVR Pals podcast. As a placeholder, if we come we up go. with a better name, we'll use it. Um, let's uh, like let's it. start off. Let's start off with uh, who we have here. We got Martin over there. That guy. Nope. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> you can say yeah. you know Thanks for the vote. <laughs> I'm Martin. I'm Martin. That's all you need to know. Yeah. All right. From St. Louis, right? The, yeah. The Missouri area, anyway. That is correct. Yes, we've mentioned right, Martin cool. on our podcast before. Um. Okay. Hopefully take good. take a look at Ben. All right. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm uh. I'm Ben, aka Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> I uh. I'm also in Missouri. I'm on the other side of the state. I am uh, from Kansas City. I um, am part of the, another podcast, the Video Game Dads Podcast. Uh, you can find us anywhere uh, podcasts are found. And now I'm part of the VR Pals. VR Pals. <laughs> Pen Pals? PSVR Pals. You? Get it straight. Yeah. Specifically. PSVR Pals. <laughs> That's us. Specifically, at least for this round. We'll call it R- this right. Round, right. Correct, yeah. Life. Right, trademark pending. Okay. Boom. Uh, <laughs> Boom. I am Kurt. Um, I am as well in St. Louis. Um, I like playing PlayStation VR with my pals. <laughs> uh, That's us. And being intently stared at. We <laughs> all over here. Uh, <laughs> I'm just giving uh, you my attention. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, I am not currently a part of any other podcast except for this one. Ah, uh, well, like you've that. been a guest on the uh, video game show. I have been a guest. Is my is my mic loud enough? <laughs> yeah, are you speaking loud enough? <laughs> 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 Ongoing joke. All right. No, it's really that. <laughs> this it's like would be me. About it. That. Yep. Right there. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, I'm Jake Friedel. And I have a very mediocre YouTube channel, also from the St. Louis area, guest on the Video Game Show podcast. Um, actually, hey, howdy. howdy. Bang, howdy. Uh, also, one of the people putting on the Missouri Game Con. And, yeah, yeah. That's, that's me. And then I'll uh, hand it over to my man Riggs over here. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. All right. Uh, well, my name is uh, John Riggs. I, like this guy, have a um, mediocre uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm not in uh, St. Louis, Missouri. I'm in Washington State, so I'm on the West Coast. So this is uh, early for me still. This is like just after 7 o'clock my time. It's all like after 9 o'clock your time. So, uh, no. And um, I... Well in Transylvania. Yeah, and That's Transylvania, right. yeah. Looks kind of like it, though. I kind of wish we had a little um, fire. I attended the St. Louis, Missouri. We should. I wish I was like a little fire pit or something. Um, and I met all of you for the first time at the Missouri Game Con last year. Correct. Correct, Amundo. Okay. That's it. John Riggs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Thank you. So, I guess uh, first topic of discussion. Uh, so, and I see this a lot on uh, Cheap Ass Gamer. People want to know what the best game to start out with the PSVR is and basically why or what what's not going to make them sick starting out, I guess. Um, I say I, VR Worlds. I, yeah. I would agree with Which VR one? Worlds. It, it, VR Worlds. Especially uh, oh, VR Worlds. The, 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 shark, the shark cage. Because uh, you don't have yeah. to do anything. You just, you're yeah. plopped in and, and you get a sense of what VR is all about instantly. Uh it's just, just, and that's just one component of the whole disc. You know, there's what yeah. seven, seven different games. Yeah, about. London, London Heist. That's, I can't wait for like the full version of that, whatever it's being called. Does anybody yeah, know? What's that called? I. Oh yeah. Um, no, they they did I have just it written down, but I can't say. See yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, we we have the problem. I can't see my notes. You're right. <laughs> right. I guess you'll have to pull the visor out slightly. Them. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe they're in my headdress up here. Let me see. No. 
Um, yeah, the, uh, no, you got to do the Johnny Carson the thing. The Johnny Carson thing, where you hold it to your head. Yeah, weird, yes. wild stuff. All right, let's see. Is it over here? Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah, uh, the shark cage is good, but it's it's uh, it's pretty passive. Um, I've still seen a lot of people freak out trying it. Um, yeah. I I I think if you do VR what, VR worlds, uh, like the the luge is just like too intense or something. So I, yeah, right, I something like this is, is, is pretty good as far as what they're getting into. When, when, What'd you say? Out or, is it people that don't know what they're really getting into, or is it people that understand VR? And, I think it's 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 well, it's so far been like three females: my sister, my niece. <laughs> And then a neighbor. I think it's the fact that they just. I think it's because it's a, a shark. It's it's quasi scary yeah. for them, and they get too yeah, intense. It's it's not that. quite like all all till dawn or whatever. But as far as like not having to hold a controller, that's, now that's a good one. Did they try like Gear VR prior to that, like uh, you know the Samsung phone deal? No, I think this was their like first ever VR thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, my my parents came up to visit, and I threw them on the VR. My dad loved the Shark Tank, and by the time the shark started to attack, when my mom was doing it, she was freaking out. <laughs> she actually took she took the headset off and was like, "I'm done, I'm done." <laughs> nice. And and the thing is, like, that's so like mediocre as far as like uh like jump scare type stuff. Like, I wouldn't dare stick somebody right. in Resident right. Evil or something, you know. No, but that's the thing. <laughs> right. You're, you're yeah. also putting on this this new this new technology that, I mean, is completely foreign to most of these people. Right. That you're putting it on, and it's it's sensory overload. Like at least the first time I put it on, I knew what I was getting into, and it was still sensory overload. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Like like earlier, well, and like this morning, I had no idea I'd become an African American male. <laughs> you know, I am. So right. Yeah. Just, yeah. The and he's owning it VR up. For you now. never know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. What about what about some? Oh no. You, yeah. No. I was gonna say the other end of the spectrum. You you're you're our MC. I was just thinking, what's <laughs> what's something that uh, you think it uh, would be the worst one? Not be ready for. Riggs. Uh, yeah. 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 Not John Riggs, but uh, <laughs> the game Riggs. Oh, have Have you played I know, Riggs? That was funny. That I thought one. you. <laughs> That one makes me nauseous. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. I played Riggs. I actually think it's that uh, that other thing on VR Worlds, the Scavengers Odyssey, oh, the one where you're flying yes. from meteor meteoroid to meteoroid and you're like changing perspective. Yeah, that one. Sick that, that one I can Riggs. I can see yeah, too. <clears throat> I got I got first time playing that. My stomach was just in knots after 10, 15 minutes, and I was done. Uh, which one was yeah. that? Yeah, oh. you can't push through. Which you one like was that, Martin? Scavenger. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Scavenger on VR World. Yeah, that one was pretty nice. Yeah, Scavengers Odyssey. Um, another bad yeah. one would be uh, oh, not not Star Blood. What's what's the other uh, Valkyrie? Uh, Eve. Yeah, oh, Eve yeah. Valkyrie. Oh, that. Oh, actually, I... You start doing like a tail spin or something, man. Yeah. It gets crazy. <laughs> See, my issue with the oh, really? flying games, my issue with the flying games is, especially the, the space ones, as soon as my head loses track of what's up and down. John, are you drinking I something? I can't. I, I... What's that? Are you drinking something? No, no, not at all. It's just like uh, my internet keeps cutting out, so I can never. Um... Oh, I could have swore I keep hearing like. And everyone starts stuttering. No, I could have swore I heard like gurgling oh, coming from like. Are you serious? Oh, that, that, that's me. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I, 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 mean, I, I have my drink with me. Oh, perfect. I got a champagne with me. John, champagne. John, please share with everybody your current setup. High life. Or are you still rocking the setup What's with that? the chair? Are you still rocking the setup with the chair? No. <laughs> I, I, I did it once, and that was for uh, for Star Trek Bridge Crew. <laughs> that was a great setup because I needed to use the move control. You don't have to use the move controllers, but if it's compatible, you may as well use them. That's what they're for. Um, but I'm also I play my PlayStation VR in my bedroom where there's about a foot between 
where I sit on the bed and where my PlayStation camera is. And you're supposed to be back about five feet. Right. Um, so I got back enough, but I couldn't quite s- still uh, be angled where the camera was positioned. So I put a chair on top of the bed and sat there. And, um, and my wife took a photo of it, and I tweeted it out, <laughs> and uh, Ubisoft saw it, and I got a shout-out from them for it. So. Oh, whatever, really? Whatever I, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh no 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 no. You we did and mention Ubisoft that because is the, is the maker of this game. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's right. If you want to send us some more VR codes or something, that'd be perfect. We we can do this. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I know. I'm waiting for. They what? should. I, I don't know what to... the pals need codes. Yeah, pals need that's codes. That's right. Well, we have. Ubisoft did this game, Werewolves Within. They have uh-huh. uh, Star Trek Bridge Crew. They have uh, Eagle Flight, and they're yeah. all they all have multiplayer functionality. Um, I'd love more like multiplayer VR games. Even if it was like this, like if they had me like a multiplayer, like a poker game or like you know Texas Hold'em or even if it's just like a Cards Against Humanity would be right. ultimate. Of um, that Resident yeah, Evil card game is actually games. awesome. I would love to be able to play with somebody on that. Instead of just like against the computer, just any, any of yeah. that stuff, or just somebody, any right, those, right, those yeah. type of games sitting at a table, with with you know like we were talking about like playing Heroes Quest, yeah, you know, or, or think of Dungeons and Dragons. I think Dungeons and Dragons right. is a great idea. Just um, having so ha, have the the dungeon master be able to, you know, do his whole thing. You could still have your Cloud of War or uh, the yeah the, yeah the Cloud of War. You can set up the whole map, and then, I mean, you roll the dice and everything. It, right, right. I mean, literally, I would play Monopoly like this. Like, if we just had a Monopoly table in front of us right now, yeah. you know? Only if there's, like, a table flipping. Like, if there's, like, a table flip off. Yeah. Like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm out. <laughs> You're putting how much on the mortgage? <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> one thing I did want to mention, though, with uh, Ubisoft, I definitely have to give it to Ubisoft. They, um... They're they're really forthcoming with uh, like trying new tech out and stuff. Not well, not necessarily that, but uh, third party support, I suppose. Like, look at the Wii U. They supported the hell out of the Wii U, and when nobody else was. And I mean, now we got the PSVR, right. and they're kind yeah. of the pioneers of third party on that. So, hats off. Sure. And cross platform with PC problem. gamers too. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. that's something else we need to mention uh, with those. Yeah. What's that? How, how much they're keeping stuff up to date and adding adding new stuff like they added uh, just yeah bridge bridge crew for Star Trek. You know? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. I mean, they're you gotta give them credit yeah. for, for all the which updates. I still need to play with you guys. I still have not done that. I've I've not played with bridge crew human on that sucker yet. Oh man, that's a fun <laughs> yeah. game. I'm not we sure we yet. met I'm not sure we met a real game. character the first time we all played together. Warpers, baby. <laughs> 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 this is <laughs> look how long it's gonna take. Look how long it's gonna take. <laughs> we should also say part of, part of this too is uh, it kind of feels even though we're all next to each other and we're across the world. Right. Some of the delay kind of feels like we're via satellite, like we're the people uh, on the news program that like hold our ear and talk at the same time. Right. There's a, there's right. A, there's a quarter second delay. Um. So like, even though I'm right next to you, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it, but I, I, I also like, I feel like there's that quarter second delay that makes it like that awkward. All I can say. Moment thing, right? Or is that you guys feel that too? I I can I get that a little bit, but I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping. It works better than their satellite feeds generally. They're like, "Oh, what happened to Bob? Where's Bob?" And then Bob's just standing there like an idiot. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> oh, he's he's not hearing us. We'll we'll get back to him. <laughs> uh, there seem to be some audio difficulties. We'll get back to Bob in just a few moments. Yeah. He's just standing there smiling. Yeah. yeah. I know. We can always stand like a question I have for you, Jake. <laughs> is what's what do you feel the difference is with the big uh, the big new uh, headset you have since you have version 2.0? Yeah, uh, Riggs actually has 2.0 also. Listening to you should have this. Oh, what? Right. Okay. I have I have 2.0, okay. but I still have I don't have a pro. 
So uh, I have a standard PlayStation 4, but n- so eventually I'll have to get a Pro, and then I'll have to get an old VR, and then we'll have both. My wife's been wanting me to get another one just so we can play werewolves with him together. Oh, that is... That's, that's a lot of money to hold. So who, else, who, else has, yeah. who else has pros in here? Uh, I do. I do, I do. not. I do um, not. That you is don't something for VR anymore because all, all the VR games are like 12 megs and 19 megs, you know, or gigs. I mean, sorry, not right? <laughs> um, <laughs> it fills up quick. That is something I wanted to address for anybody that is watching this. Uh, if you do have a PS4 Pro, do whatever you can to get the second version of the PSVR. Um, I had the first version with the PS4 Pro and had nothing but problems. Like uh, video would start cutting out. Oh. Um, it was weird. Like, uh, it would almost be like the wrong resolution showing up on my TV and stuff. And I can only think that's something to do with the pass through on that. I don't know, but I've had no problems with this. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's an aftermarket stuff hooked up on it. No, no, nothing. I got mine at launch. I actually got my PS4 at launch and my PSVR at launch, and I've been very lucky. I have not had a problem with either. At no, all. no, yeah, for the he's most part. About, he's talking <laughs> about he had uh Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, boy, gesturing. Gesturing, everybody, get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. Uh, no, he's right. talking. He had a, a, he had a Gen 1 headset. On a Pro. Pro okay. And was having problems. Ah, uh, okay, I get you. I get you. Yeah, so I mean it it worked obviously cuz I played games with you guys, but yeah, like every once in a while it just it just have some hiccups and stuff that I would like have to turn it off and turn it back on and stuff. Like, I don't know. But um, Did you I mean, did you honestly see a huge bump though? Oh, you mean between the PS4 and the Pro? Between the and the Pro, yeah. Um <laughs> Yes and no. It depends on the game. Um, so I don't have. I know, I know you got a deal on your on your pro. So right. If you were to pay full price for the pro. Um no. Been as no, absolutely not. Um, no. Like I said, I have sixty dollars in it basically over top, essentially right. for sixty dollars, especially including what you can do mm. aside from VR, obviously. Um, That's totally worth it. Yeah. Right. Um. But at most games, they just get as like a resolution upgrade, which is nice. Um, but some games get more than that. Uh, Gran Turismo, I actually believe they add like an audience and stuff. Frame, oh, I, yeah. frame rate will always be the same. Actual. Yeah, uh, that's one thing uh, with the PS or the PSVR. They're trying to keep everything at sixty frames, and then that breakout box like read, doubles that. Yeah. Ninety. Yep. Oh, 90? I read 90. I love Rich Bergen. 90 is the minimum. <laughs> Where did that come from? What? <laughs> oh, my, my wife just said Rich, Rich Bergen donated five bucks. Oh, wow. Cool. Awesome. So, Rich. Oh. Yay, Rich. All right. There you go. You We're well on the... our way. I'm, I'm well, well on my way to that PlayStation 4 Pro now. I only need, what, $495. <laughs> How much it is anyway. <laughs> and and <laughs> make mention idea. Rich Bergen is the uh the MC of the podcast that I am a guest on all the time. Yep, yep. Yeah, the video game show. So thank you for That's that. Right. Little plug for you, no video game show. Howdy. No bang yeah. howdy, huh? <laughs> I'm not I'm not the bang howdy guy. I'm the guy that makes inappropriate comments on there. <laughs> so I gotta ask you, Jake, how oh, are you to looking the, I'm the guy that's gonna make what? Oh, no. How are you looking at what you're going to talk about next when you're in here? Because I was oh. looking at like show notes. I usually in my podcast, I'm, I have to run my podcast. So I'm thinking like, oh, we're gonna... we're doing it from the top. <laughs> this this is on yeah. This is <laughs> basically basically Way my little stage here. here. Yeah. Um... I drink. <laughs> there we go. There's got to be heavy like editing, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> but no, um, I I think pretty, in the okay future. So yeah, I think in the future I'll probably uh, just write some stuff down, and then uh, we can just go off that. Y- you can pull the visor out slightly, and then you can see yeah. below you. Yeah, that's what I do to check so, out. I've done that to get my, 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 get to like my chocolate milk once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> Is chocolate milk code word for Kalula? You should put some uh, <laughs> yeah, no. uh, chocolate, yeah. chocolate white Russian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, yeah. Um, what are you guys? You guys are all rocking just the standard PS4, right? Yeah. Yeah, standard okay. standard Pro, yeah. Um, one thing I did want to mention, and you guys can chime in on this too, um, other YouTube channels, because that was one reason I wanted to do this. There's not many YouTube channels that focus on VR stuff yet, so... Um, <laughs> What I wanted, what I, who I shout out PS PSVR Frank. Exactly, that's that's what I was gonna say. Uh, if you guys don't follow hey, PSVR Frank, sets. do that. I would love to get PSVR Frank in this. That would be awesome. That'd be infinitely excellent. How I, you, yeah. How you doing, I, guys? Yeah. <laughs> I literally walk around with with. It's the Frank Show. What? The Frank, <laughs> the Frank Show. show. Come, Come on. on. The Frank Show. What? I'm constantly singing that in the back of my my brain all day at work. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I like the shtick. When I first saw it, I thought, how can he keep this thing going? But he does. He's, um, he's I think he's toned it down a little bit. He. But he, I, I think when he started, he didn't have the. I was gonna say he did break one time when I was watching him, but it's because he's doing a live stream of Skyrim and is like four hours in or something. <laughs> <laughs> And people were harassing yeah, he him. Talked... <laughs> yeah, he t he's he's a, the go-to guy for any game that comes out that you want to see a demo of. Right. Um, there's a there's a couple there's a couple others, um, but he's he's the one that I think covers the bases. Uh, mm -hmm. I, and I trust his opinion too. It's been very similar to my own. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he doesn't he he doesn't get much motion sickness though, so he also like turns everything way up. I'm somebody. Right. I don't know. We could talk about that. I don't wanna. I don't wanna admit anything, but I'll stand since we're at, we're at, you know given our. Like in an age, <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Like this just, just yeah. your first name. Yeah. My yeah, name okay, Ben. So I'd, I'd like to admit, I I have a sensitive stomach that shows up every <laughs> once in a while, and and I will that say. Right there. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this, this is hard Your for me face, right now. You get so angry. And... Look at yourself when you do that. Okay. And look how angry you look when you do it. I'd like to say I, I get ups I get upset that um, my stomach is so sensitive, <laughs> and because of that, you I can I can attest though. The longer you're in the headset, the better you end up doing. Uh, really, it's, I agree. it's getting your seat getting your sea legs. Um, yeah. I I, yeah. You stretch your periods out a little longer. Uh, it gets better. Yeah. I think, uh... I found, uh, peppermint yeah, I, I, helps I, I, as well. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah, I mean, yeah. And cranberry I, juice they, for the they, long periods. Those are good for cr <laughs> Yeah. 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 I also, my <laughs> stomach, my ignore. stomach hurts, and it also burns when I urinate. What do I, oh, wait, that has nothing to do with you. <laughs> uh, that wrong one. There, oh, yeah. That's the proposition. <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah, I I didn't have that too much, but I think it's because I messed with the uh, Gear VR quite a bit, and um, okay. I was yeah I was using some I forget I forget what it's called, but basically uh, it's people could write their own programs for it, and somebody ported over the original Quake, and that was amazing, but it would kill your stomach. It was awesome though, yeah. and that's something I would like to see. That's something I would like to see on this. I, I would love to see uh, Id like port some of those old games over. <laughs> Picking your nose. I love Doom. Doom VFR was was amazing. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I agree. oh yeah, any any of those early two thousands nineties games would easily work on PS four hardware and VR. So I would love to see them just port some I, of that I, old stuff over. So, I I have a quick question. No. Um, go for it. Who plays standing and who plays sitting? I'm Does sitting. Anybody play standing at all? I can't. I'm, I'm always, always sitting. Always. I I'm always. I do well, standing. I'm right in front of the camera. Right. I do standing for uh, job simulator. Job simulator. Don't and and do standing. Super hot, which is infinitely excellent. <laughs> oh. See, I yes. I get that's when I start getting the most nauseous <laughs> when I'm standing. As soon as I start standing, I get I start getting queasy, and and maybe sure. it's because I'm not used to it, but I'm constantly sitting, and I found it I, it worked perfect for me. I rarely get dizzy <laughs> right. anymore. Um, that was something else I wanted to mention. Uh, comfortability uh, between uh, the version one and the version two of the uh, PSVR. I would definitely have to go with the second version. 
Um, the first version has oh, okay. a very wide and like thick cord that goes to the breakout box. This one has a very that, small uh, cord. It's I would say it's like an right. NES controller of thickness. Like, oh really? Yeah. Okay. I don't really think it's the size of the cord that matters. It's, 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 <laughs> how it. it's how you wield mm. it. Yeah. yeah. It's how you push it out of the way. <laughs> I see. I see what you're throwing there, John Blue Riggs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I will say Jake is the only one whose avatar looks exactly one to one like him in real life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that, it's pretty close. Wow. It's pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Me, me and Steve know. Buscemi. All said. Yeah, he. Uh, Jake oh, no, won the, Bus- the tournament. Steve Buscemi two over here. <laughs> tournament. Yeah, just a little bit different. Yeah, you won the tournament of uh, Werewolves Within because you know before this game came out, everybody knew about this game and everybody talked about it. Yeah. Just like they do now. Right. And, and you won the tournament, and you, you sent in enough uh, box tops and proofs and everything, and you, you got to be put in the game. Oh, yeah, and that's so what happened, yeah. Is... How did I forget that? Yeah. So... <laughs> John's just yeah, looking yeah, off. As well. <laughs> is John yeah. AFK? Yeah, do it like... <laughs> <laughs> when I'm um, when I'm in the uh, first person view, when you hold L2, you can look at yourself. Oh, that's what you're doing. So when I hold L2 and I look this way, like right now, I can look like there's you know Ben, there's uh, Kurt. And I'm looking right at you now, Jake, and uh, I gotta turn all the way around backwards here. I, my avatar probably looks like The Exorcist now, turning all the way around. There's Martin. Hey, Martin. <laughs> I, look, I look weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking way off. <laughs> oh, you It'll can actually sense when you see the stream, I guess. Oh, you can, okay, you can oh, lean I like that, too, <laughs> apparently. I didn't realize you could lean. Yeah. yeah. That's, how you, you, that's, that, that's how you lean into Whisper. Oh, no, no, no. And I mean, up. I mean, when you use a controller, if you're holding L2 and move the controller yeah, can, back and forth, you, you can. can uh, you, no, you oh, can, yeah, you yeah, with to, the L stick. You can just do that normal. Well, right, right, right. You right. lean your body. It shows you. Right. It shows you're leaning. But... Should, well, let's see. I'm checking the chat right now. And uh, what? I'm just kidding. There's no chat. But I have a chat though. Was, I think. Um, I was gonna say oh, if somebody. Okay, so, oh yeah, you're. I was gonna say if somebody you're, comments on my. Me. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, John. No, just that. I was gonna say, if, um, like my wife's watching the stream right now uh, through the chat. So if awesome. anybody does have any questions oh, for us, feel free to feel free to shout it out or something. Um, I was gonna, gonna say. Anything? Oh, then maybe not. I was I was gonna say too on Is on soft watching. <laughs> on my stream, if ahead, uh, if He's... if you send okay, so if you send a message on my stream, it will show up on like my visor, so like I'll be able to see what right. people are saying. Yeah. Oh, is your setup that way too, John? There you go. It, it, mine's not. No. Oh, okay. I will need to turn that off I if that more people while, start then, doing that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Martin. Okay. I, I I will say since we're in Werewolves Within, I would think some people might want to know about this wonderful Ubisoft game. I mean, I don't know how to put it in a nutshell. I think your wife, John, is a good testament on how right. addictive this game could be, from what I hear. So if we could put this game into a, like I tried to describe it as like a medieval clue. Um, or I don't know, like a whodunit. Yeah. Um, I think it started. What's the best a, way? As a there's, a, there's a world card game, game, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, oh, is there? I there's a, there's a card game called it's Werewolves, like, and it's oh, I, that. I didn't, I didn't realize that. But if you don't know the game, yeah, it's how do you do it? I think this one has more classes, though. I would. I think this one has more classes and it's, more rules. It's kind of a game of like BSing each other, essentially, too. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, which. Um, which it kind of shows uh, like what was all that the. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> There's that delay. Go ahead. Can... <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. I was, I, I was looking at myself again. I got, I caught looking at myself. <laughs> I, I, I think the. It shows uh, all the different experiences you can have in the game because this doesn't sound good on paper, and even watching gameplay of it. It, it doesn't sound fun at all. You're like, ah, this is a dumb game. Who wants it? Ah. Right. But really, it's a, it's 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 a fun game. It's it's one of the funnest times I've had playing it. And 
the people who, you know, get motion sick and everything. I don't see how you could get motion sick playing this. Yeah, right, you're sitting right. Well, and, like, my wife loves it because you don't need to, like, you're not, you know, anticipating something jumping around the corner. Like, you right. don't have to fight a boss. You're right. sitting around talking to people. You're just ch hanging out. Yeah. You're chilling. It's, it's, in my opinion, it's the same thing with this in Star Trek. It's social. It's... Yeah. It's not um, a shooting at each other type multiplayer game. It's just very social. Right. Lots of laughs, lots of... Uh, I would consider and... Star Trek my favorite VR game, but it's totally because of interactivity with other people and playing it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't know if i call it yeah. my favorite, but I, I, would, I would definitely say it's uh, multiplayer-wise. I think of all games, it's one of the best multiplayer and experiences. And make no... Just because it's... So if you're not a Star Trek person, you can still absolutely enjoy it. Like you cannot know yeah, a yeah. thing about it. I'm, yeah. I'm not a Star. Yeah. I'm not a Star Trek person. I'm right. Not a Star right. Trek person either. Yeah. I, I love that game. Like I know literally. More about Star Trek than I ever did playing that game. Right. <laughs> I was gonna say. I mean, literally, yeah. you could reskin the whole thing and make it like a submarine game, and it would play out just as well. Oh, I'd love a submarine game. Right. Yeah. Or like a space yeah. shuttle game, go to the yeah. moon or something. I, NASA. NASA sponsored. Star Wars. I'm, as far as I'm talking about, Wars, I'm sold. <laughs> oh no, I was just gonna say when I started talking about Star Trek uh, VR on my podcast. Uh, oh yes, uh, a shameless plug: the video game dad. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you I'm absolutely about VR a little bit. That was, that was, that was VR. That was the. Um, uh, it was my game of the year or whatever for the first year it came out, which is now what is VR now? Like two years old. Uh, we're yeah. almost at two years old. Right? I think we're yeah, almost, almost there, yeah. Almost yeah, PSVR. Two, got... two years in no... it'd be so like November. I... Isn't that when it came yeah, out? Yeah, so I, I, I got, yeah, and I got kind of made fun of that, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Trekkie. But what I liked about P the, the Star Trek, and again, just playing through the tutorial and not playing uh, online multiplayer, is <laughs> I can watch the show now and understand when they're, like, diverting power right. to another part right. of the ship. I'm like, oh, wait a sec, I, this is my wheelhouse. I know what you're doing <laughs> right now. You know, this you're is a real thing. It's not, you're supposed to use the... <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what, that's not what even Star that. Trek was to me. It was always they, they had an issue, and then all of a sudden, Geordi LaForge would be like, well, there's no way we can get past this unless we happen to take you know, the flux capacitor and turn it upside down right. and divert the power to so-and-so. <laughs> this might that's, work. That's back to the future. This is always <laughs> yeah. oh. That's back to the future. Flux capacitor, back to the future. <laughs> I'm just showing how I'm not a... This is pr proving I'm not a Trekkie. That's all I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, no, ab absolutely. But not so much even that, as well as when you're actually playing the game, there's a point where it just clicks. And you get it, and you understand. Oh, yeah. this does this yeah. for for your other teammate, and this does this for your other teammate. And as soon as that clicks, it just becomes a whole different game. Right. And it's so much fun to just and get in there and when you when you have a good captain, it makes a world of difference. Like if you have somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, I completely agree. Yeah. I've I've experienced that many a times. Yeah, when I'm yeah, captain, it's man. terrible. Yeah, I was captain. <laughs> <laughs> I won't lie, I'm a terrible captain. But 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 the but the best thing about that is, is even in a terrible game, it's it's fun because it becomes hilarious. And there are games where there was a game. I think it was it was the game you were talking about, uh, Zeb. You, you can use my real name. Captain. You, you can use my real name, Kurt. I, I'm fucking with that. <laughs> uh, you look like a Zeb. <laughs> as soon as we realized, as soon as we realized things were going downhill, <laughs> this guy started doing crap, and it was so much fun and so funny. I literally had to take my my headset off because I was crying. I was literally crying, laughing because Our, of. Well, you've got to be talking about Trek Me Baby. Are you talking about Trek Me Baby? Yes. Charging, <laughs> charging warp charging coils. coils. Charging the coils. <laughs> <laughs> we I feel we like need I'm to invite him in here. Like in, the, in the inside joke, I didn't get. Uh, yeah, I I have a YouTube video, video of it. Video. Yeah, I was gonna say it's on my channel if you want to see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, charging warp coils or charging warp coils is the name of it. <laughs> 
Charging uh, warp coils. That be, wouldn't that be cool it's if we could hilarious. just bring in the Star Trek people? Like we all look up at the at the stars, and right? Our eyes get all glowy, and then all of a sudden, one of the Star Trek guys come up. Yeah. Here, let's try it. Everybody, look <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, no. Uh, but I. Uh, my eyes I think I think they are might be glowing? infringing uh, on Disney with that castle. <laughs> Yeah. I the style in this too. Yeah, yeah. And uh Kurt, I think you found uh, your spirit Levi animal. The, the the cathedral? What's that? <laughs> An old gypsy woman. <laughs> An old gypsy woman. <laughs> yeah. The, I I say, you, you could be anybody in the world. Free shoes. Hi, John. Uh, what? Did you, <laughs> did you, oh, that's right. The, Welcome. <laughs> uh, when, you're, when you're in a lobby, people can join if you're friends with them. <laughs> yeah. I'm Miss Hello. Sock. When did Lady Gaga get here? <laughs> that's Hi. not a meat Welcome suit. To Welcome, to, Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> that's all good. So, um... Anyway, we have our special guest, Shank, uh, Jake. Miss, Jake, Mrs. this is our special guest that we were planning, Miss Shank and Sock. <laughs> How are you doing? I think she's confused. Uh, He's okay. Oh, my, okay. my wife. My wife says hi. Oh, hi. My wife says hi. For fun, we're we're recording a podcast and using the uh, werewolves within lobby as the uh, vehicle to. I'll be in the same is, room while recording. So this is, this is very actually, awkward. It's, it's actually an and no, so And so the most famous Joker's person episode. here right now. This is yeah, and the most Joker's. famous person here that we have a fan club is is uh, John's wife. Is, is the most popular person here. <laughs> she's, she's not, not even here. Come in. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> she's not even well, here. Let's let's get to yeah. opinions. It's the PSVR. Anyway, Mrs. Mrs. Yeah, Thanks yeah. a lot. <laughs> what uh, what is your favorite uh, what it, is your favorite it's... PSVR game? Well, I'm not gonna answer you until you say my name right. Uh, Shank and socks, Shank brother. Shanklin sock. Shank and socks. Sorry. Shank and socks. I, I apologize. Like being in prison, bro. What, what is your favorite <laughs> PSVR game? Are, uh... I'm sorry. Are you on? I don't know. Are you on PSVR or are you on PC? I'm on PSVR. What's your favorite? Perfect. Oh, yeah, that's a th cross play. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, I, was that what's it? Up, what's with all the hard questions, what's, what's man? Happening? Come on, a Gypsy Angela Lansbury. Pretty sure she's having a stroke. <laughs> she's having a stroke. Yeah, totally. <laughs> um, I only have like two two games, so it's like this one and Dino Frontier. But I guess this. Dino Frontier is better um, than this one, so. Dino, I've tried the demo on that. I, I really enjoyed it. I just I it's can't bring myself. I I haven't tried that one yet. Uh, what was it? I haven't 30 tried bucks. It. The demo on is no, really good. Like, I think it's like twenty. Yeah. Is it twenty? Yeah. Okay. Well, digital, right? There's no physical. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a physical copy. Oh, I thought Ben was stroking out too. Sorry. My wife said I have to take the dogs out before I go to bed. <laughs> 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 so if you heard that. Uh, <laughs> That's that's the that's the joy of VR. Even though I'm here, I still have my obligations right? uh, in in the real world. Um, if we review yeah. if we review my video feed instead of John's, you will see that my girlfriend is saying she heard my lovely laugh upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> when you said my wife, the first thing that went through my he head was, "Honey, where is my super suit?" <laughs> Do what? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Fucking Honey, oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I, I do look like Frozone. Uh, yeah. Uh, you see, you yeah. scared her away. <laughs> you scared her away. Good job. You, you no, know that's what, what the PSVR pals do. <laughs> hey, hey, what's your favorite game? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Edit that. Edit that. No, that's fine. It's fine. This it adds is, to this it. This is the it's different fine. with uh, with with the uh, PSVR pals um, podcast. Is at any point 
<laughs> any one of you could come and join special us. Special guests. Yeah. Just drop by. And it's like that, Playhouse. I'm sure we'll have special guests like my dog Allie, <laughs> like tearing at the headset or something. I'm sure that's gonna happen. <laughs> I, I will say that's that's another real like realistic thing to talk about with uh, VR is when you're when you have the headset on, you're kind of obviously dead to the world. So if you Correct. have any obligations, mm -hmm. you're kind of like you, like let, you gotta like you, letting the dogs gotta, out. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like let the dogs out. That's a good example. Who does can't, that? You... Who... Who does Pink up on mine. Oh, we heard your wife. Yeah. Who? <laughs> oh, yeah. She was asking if any... she was asking who else had the Friday the Thirteenth game. Oh, I wish I did. I, I wish Friday I did. the Thirteenth. That was that was the first one that got me into the whole like not the first one to get me like playing VR games or not VR online games. Right. Um, but that was like my game of the year last year. I mean, the game's broken as anything, but um, it's that social interaction where like you're talking to people and planning out stuff and just literally hanging out. Like, yeah, I have friends up in Seattle. It's a two hour drive for me. So you get like, you know, Reggie, Reggie was at the Missouri game con last year and yeah. our friend Joe and all them convince all and Reggie that. to get PSVR. <laughs> I've been trying to. He he, Reggie, ha I want to say Reggie has a PSVR. Really? I'm almost positive he does. He in, a, in a Metal Jesus video, and I thought he said it was his. Oh. Really? Because yeah. I've talked to him. I've talked That's to him awesome. about this. I've shown him because I talked to him online some, and I like show him screen caps of our group. I'm like, you need to get a PSVR and join our group, and then he'll change the subject and start talking about PS1. Yeah. You know if he, if he plays it very much. Oh well, yeah, he he <laughs> might just not like it. Yeah, no. it could very well could be. Yeah. 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 Is there a PS1 VR? There's a couple of people like that. PS1 VR no. <laughs> would definitely would definitely make you sick. I can tell you that. Yeah, right. yeah. There's quite a few PS1 games I'd love to play in a VR though. Yeah. Martin, sit yeah. down. You're not going to do jumping here. jumping flash in a VR. <laughs> I will say if you, if you want to play uh, the original PS VR would be yeah. the uh, Master System. Oh man, yeah, if you ever right? do a Tony Hawk VR for sure. Yeah. You, you would throw up a, everywhere. Uh, Master System. I have yeah. I have I have them sitting in the the 3D glasses. Yeah, I've got them sitting yeah. in the other. Uh, yeah, yeah. There was nothing. Everything was was third person or ISO. But well, no, I guess missile. Missile the uh, what was it? Missile not missile command. Are you talking about missile? Uh, uh, master rocket. system. Sacred Red system. rocket. Yeah, the yeah. 3D glasses. <laughs> missile something. Don't get touched by that. I think that that one was in. <laughs> <laughs> I digress. So I guess I guess something I could talk about is why I like this so much. Uh, it, it, you guys can maybe we haven't talked about this, but my first experience with VR was like 1994 in the mall. They would have um, these traveling yep. oh, yeah. VR Wait, setups, really? and they were so amazing. I remember Did I would you get have up and I would stand and I would the sit and they would one? pay. Yeah, they would pay five dollars for five minutes, and yep. I went to this mm -hmm. world that looked like Tron, and and uh, yeah, and it was it was amazing, and I was waiting five years, ten years, and it took what now thirty years later to <laughs> right. I mean, have like PSVR. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, so my story on that, I my mom did all these um, these like test sessions <laughs> where she would go and try out food, or or she would uh, uh, look at new products and give her opinions on them. She get paid for it. Oh, well, they had yeah, one. Market. Yeah, she worked for pure pleasure. One where they need kids. No, she didn't. She didn't work. She just did them. She did them <laughs> once in a while. Anyway, they had one that, that they need. God bless it. They needed kids. This is getting worse. Anyway, so I came in and I got to try out one of those. Things. And then maybe and and maybe like two months, three months later, they started showing up at an arcade not too far from us. Yeah, and, um, uh, I did this. I'm assuming it was the same one. It was the one I did was like a black and white checkered floor, and there were stairs and a pterodactyl, and that was the only one I ever tried. Um, Great story. Good job, Kurt. Uh, <laughs> the first time I Good played job, it, I guess it would be probably around early 90s, and it was at uh, Exilorama, which was in the downstairs. Exilorama. Of... That's yep. where I. Is that it? Yep. That's the one I did too. Yeah, and um. I the think big I played one or the big orange one. Right, and I think I played and do you remember the helmet? The helmet was like thirty pounds. <laughs> like it was huge. huge. Yeah. And uh, the only the go only ahead. equivalent I could think of is uh the beachhead game. Yeah. Yeah. I think of the, the beachhead arcade game. Um it was a helmet about that size, but there was nothing holding it. It was just sitting on your head. It was huge and heavy. 
Yeah, I, I distinctly remember, though, like, yeah, it was like five bucks for like five minutes. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and... And it was just, uh, it was just ridiculous, though. Like, uh, you would play, I mean, you couldn't even figure out what you're doing in five minutes. And, yes, I mean, right. yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure it was. That's, what was the game? Uh, see, okay, I played three Remember different ones. One was like a night one. One was like a robot, like, where you verse the other person that's in the VR thing. And then the other one was like a flight sim. And what I distinctly remember about the flight sim is you could turn around and see your co-pilot. And it's this terrible guy with, like, maybe five polygons just smiling at you. It was, like, the creepiest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> i got to find a picture of that now. <laughs> I'll post a video of the one I did in chat later. I, I definitely remember, it though. It didn't even make any sense. I definitely remember, though. The graphics, I mean, to me at the time, they weren't bad, but I definitely remember the graphics were nowhere near the quality of N64, so just let that sink in. <laughs> yeah. It looked, it looked <laughs> like a horrible version of a uh, Dire Straits video. <laughs> have, we talked about, version. have we talked about the, uh, the elephant in the room, uh, which is, you know... The the Virtual Boy. Have we already talked about that? In case the Vol there were a couple of good games, and you game. know this. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So um, I think the Virtual Boy is nothing like VR. No, <laughs> no, and, no, and, no, it's, and, it's not. It's 3D. And yeah. If, yeah. If if you're wanting um, if you're wanting a VR VR experience, the Virtual Boy, even though it sounds like it's something you want, you do not want that. Um, <laughs> but I have played that sucker since it it came out and i mm -hmm. bought bought mine from blockbuster and all my games back in the day and i will say it's it's again this this is what i wanted that to be when right. i was younger like yeah. when you saw the, the commercials and you couldn't do like demos and things like that um i i just think like th this is i'm hoping that psvr continues to take off <laughs> because i think there's just still so many great uh there's still so many great um like options left of like uh, you know yeah. to get more people to play this thing. Um, As I just Rich, don't know what the barriers are. Rich said it's like Lawnmower Man on the SNES. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, like that. I, do, I, I agree. I, I completely agree. I would play that. I would completely play that just out of nostalgia. Yeah. 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 Who? Who? Does anybody like Lawnmower Man for the SNES? Since we're talking about it. I. It's been a long time since I've tried it. Maybe. Do you guys know who likes Lawnmower Man for the SNES? Here, look at me while I emote. You ready? You ready? You! This guy. <laughs> that guy. That guy. He's this seen guy. a ghost! That guy. <laughs> <laughs> I lo I like that game just for the uh, for the VR parts of it, like when you're flying through the through the worlds and stuff. The shooting parts aren't very good. But yeah. The actual VR VR parts are amazing for the Super NES. I know um, it's a movie game and it's not very good, but I actually like that game. Speaking of, was there any gimmicky Super Nintendo games where you used like the oh what do they call that where it's like the blue and the red uh, glasses? Did the Super oh, Nintendo the have um, yeah? Did Super Nintendo have any like that? I, Nintendo did, but I don't. I don't remember any Super Nintendo ones. Hmm. Yeah, not Super Nintendo. Hmm. That kind of surprised me. The PS3 anyway. did. Yeah. The PS3 had. So did the, the Wii. Uh, yeah. The uh, Ar Ar the uh, Batman. Yeah, the Wii um, did. Ar Arkham Asylum. And, oh. Uh, okay. The um, the Green Hornet. Your wife's Green tired, Hornet. John. Was Green Lantern. The Green Wait, Lantern Arkham game Asylum? also had 3D glasses. <laughs> 3D glasses. 3D glasses. Mm -hmm. yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. I never saw if that. If you look at the, yeah, if you look it at the, it says 3D uh, like, on uh, the cover. The greatest hits game of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you can you can oh, change oh, it to 3D but mode. We're not we're not talking we're not talking about red and red and blue. We're talking about the shutter, or the uh, no. The we're talking red and blue. Yeah. No, we're talking red and blue. Yeah. It, it came with those glasses inside the case. Really? It, if you look at. Yeah, go look at some like eBay op options and look at like Batman uh, Arkham Asylum 3D. You'll find the 3D glasses still in there, but you can use regular red, blue, and it it, it worked okay. It wasn't wonderful, <laughs> but it worked okay. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I just I think I I guess I'd seen that. <laughs> I just always assumed it was for like uh, 3D TVs, like the the polarized glasses. Well, that that's also an option. Yeah. 
That's also an option. Um, uh, Assassin's Assassin's Creed had that the uh, the TV, the 3D TV. Shadow of the Colossus had Shadow that too. Shadow of the Colossus had that. Okay, yeah, I I didn't know that. I never had a 3D TV because it was kind of a flash in the pan, but. I, okay, I used it. I mean, I had some. Uh, oh, that's the other thing. Uh, 3D movies. Have we talked about that? Yeah. Oh that like, no, we definitely 3D. need to bring that up. Yeah. Not a lot of people realize, yeah, but... You can watch 3D movies. Yeah, 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 and it works really well. Like, I would say probably better than off a of TV. I, w I mean, I haven't... Again, I haven't had one to try it out, but I couldn't imagine getting a better experience out of it. I've no, got a, because I've it's the equivalent TV. of it. A... Have you tried both? Oh, sorry. I, I've got it. Uh, I mean, I've, I've watched several movies on the TV, and I've got the kind that's... Uh, the... Uh, you battery-powered glasses that have to automatically shutter. The shutter right. And, the shutter yeah, glasses, and yeah. Sometimes they mess with my eyes, and uh, wearing, wearing the headset's actually more comfortable than wearing those glasses. Yeah. So, um, when you do that, have you? do they ever become out of sync? The like glasses? The yeah. Uh, I haven't had that happen. No. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, I watched Prometheus... And uh, the new uh, Poltergeist on PSVR, oh, nice. and it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. Worked really well. I actually had a, I had a 3D projector actually. So you know, PSVR is equivalent to when you're watching a movie, supposedly like a 200 inch screen. Right. I have a projector that's like 100, 120 inch screen. Yeah. And the 3D is 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 very good, um, and for most people, I think it's the only way they're going to be able to watch these 3D movies. But they might own some and not even realize it and pop them in. But I, uh, what did I watch? Walking with Dinosaurs. Uh, oh, we could give that away. I have. Oh, that would be cool. Maybe I can, maybe I can read it off. And uh, since you guys are streaming, someone can first one to get it. You can get Walking in Dinosaurs 3D. Huh? <laughs> Hold How on. We do that. Hold on. Where <laughs> I still need a copy of that. that? Where do you, I don't have any DVDs. Should give me that. <laughs> yeah, that's something else to bring up. They're always like thirty dollars. Yeah. Oh, they're cheap. They're well, cheap on Best Buy. Right right yeah, get, yeah, ten bucks. You can't just get the three D movie. It's always in the big gigantic package of the DVD, the Blu Ray, the three D, the digital. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, but I watched Tron, and I thought Tr Tron was amazing because it's a lot of uh, a lot of, of dark on just thin white lines or you know the orange lines or whatever so it really makes it old <laughs> it has a lot of depth. or tron legacy no the new the, the new one the new one tron um, legacy okay it, yeah it, it uh it really pops because there's not a lot going yeah. on on screen and those those digital lights or whatever you want to call it john is going to fall really asleep give a great sense of of depth hmm huh? you fall asleep over there john i heard that no, 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 I, I, was, I, was, I was trying to make myself not hiccup. <laughs> so you yawn? For error. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it worked. One, one of the best 3D movies I can recommend is um, uh, Pacific Rim in 3D. Yes. If anybody wants to see yes. 3D, show it off. That one is amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll check that out. Clapping yeah. slowly. Yeah, just like that. Clapping, <laughs> just like that. Just like that. <laughs> Just like that. I haven't seen it with the, the VR, but on on my TV, I, I watched no. that one three. It's it is great. Yeah, that yeah. that's one I'll yeah, definitely Martin check out. Confirm, it's a consensus. Yeah. There you go. Um, Two out of five uh, PSVR pals agree. I was gonna say, and I do have to bring something up. It's another feature of the PSVR. Not that anybody's oh checked boy. it out. Here comes the porn. <laughs> the porn <talk. laughs> But there are there are websites that you can go to. Hold on, he's finishing right now. This is his finish. This is his big, his big finish. We are at like it's like ten twenty. By the way, we we are like at ten twenty now. Like I think that's the time. Um, that's crazy. It's it's gotten so. I'm fine, chilling and talking some more. I, you okay. Need to take you lose track of time here. But uh, oh, smoke break. Yeah, that, that's but... true. Pee pee. Smoke break, Kurt. Yeah. <laughs> I would love a smoke break. Maybe I'll pee pee and smoke. Sip. <laughs> well, with the headset on. <laughs> uh, Jake, I, J Jake, I will say, what do you think is the uh, 
uh, you know, if we're, if we're going to get together, where can we, you know, tell people and tell ourselves uh, where, where you can, like, uh, find us and interact with us and uh, uh, how often we're going to do this in the future? Tell yeah. your plans for this. Uh, um, so, we, we, well, Jake's, Jake's address is 345. <laughs> <laughs> John, John <laughs> he's gone at these certain times <laughs> the key is hidden <laughs> no um yeah so that's right i'm jake friedel on youtube um otherwise you can find me on facebook and hit me up uh again also part of uh the video game show podcast um yeah so oh also on twitter zebular zero and Go the, ahead, uh, the PlayStation VR, uh, fi- uh, the the PlayStation VR uh, physical collectors group on Facebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely need to mention that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So start a group up. We're all admins on it. Um. So it's the PSVR physical collectors group. I made like a Google spreadsheet of all the games that currently have uh, physical uh, stuff. Or like, if you buy the physical copy it's playable without having an internet connection, like to basically safeguard it for what comes out in the future. Or like if the network goes down in the future, you'll still have it. Sure. So yeah, definitely sure. join. How many games roughly are we at with physical? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many physical I, games are we here? At let me, now? let me look. Cause roughly. I'm down by like two right now. Um, <laughs> yikes. <laughs> And not just U.S. release, but also, like, imports. There's uh, some games that come out in the U.K. or There's a couple of them from Japan that we're not getting in the U.S. So it's a cool little spread- spreadsheet if you're a physical collector. Um, mm-hmm. We're looking at about 40. About 40. Total. Okay. Yeah. So it's a great I system to... Probably... I was going to say, it's a great system to collect for because it's, it's awesome to collect for because there's not too many games yet. Right. You know, so yeah. it's not like you're collecting Game Boy Advance games or something. And there's, like, over 2,000 and the elephant in the room, Such job simulator is already like a seventy dollar game, which is crazy. Is yeah. So, uh, but the most something. expensive game for the VR is less than a hundred bucks. Clarify this for yeah. Me. Yeah. Was that released in America? Physical? Yes. Angela oh yeah, Land that's how I got it. Job, yeah. Job simulator. Okay. Yeah, that's how I got, I got it. Mine from Play Asia. Oh really? You. In fact, I believe you're the one that yeah. told me about it. That huh. it was. Hmm. That uh, Play Asia. No, I, was I got from mine from um, GameStop, used for twenty bucks. Before you had. VR for sure. Yeah. I think I spent 30 yeah. I, I had a lead on the physical one at GameStop a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I remember that. Did I missed out. Uh, I didn't. No, it was, um, I, I just left the, we have a Seattle retro collectors group. We all keep an eye out for people, you know, each other. And, um, I was just like, I'm looking for a physical copy of Job Simulator if anyone has one. And, um, through the GameStop app, you can see, like, if you can order it online, you can. But if there's only one left, it stays in store. And uh, somebody did some searching and found one in store complete, um, but couldn't get there in time. And by the time he got there, uh, the store already transferred it somewhere else because someone else you know, was going to buy it. Oh, and they man. wouldn't send it to me because it was out of their district. Uh. So I, was like, I missed out on my thirty dollars copy, but I'll, I'll find one eventually through through a game. Maybe I'll. That's what that's what I'm looking for. The Missouri Game Con three. I'm looking for my PlayStation, my uh, my job simulator. Um, someone better bring one. See one of the vendors <laughs> better bring one. Damn it. Bring see it. See if you can find a, um, a PlayAsia copy. Those might be cheaper. Yeah. Well, I could do that too. I mean, I don't. I don't mind if it's you know from another region. I would like right. it to be the U.S. or right. you know the NPSC. Um, but if I have to go the other route, I promise I don't mind. I was gonna do that with uh, Robinson, but I found a Robinson locally. One of my friends was looking out and uh, found a Robinson traded into PlayStation or the uh, GameStop locally. So, Kurt, what are you yeah, doing? I think Robinson's also is getting another price. Yeah, just just so people know too, <laughs> like because uh, I. I, I think this is proving that PSVR is getting so popular because, again, since I had a launch, I was buying games for it when no one was and there wasn't many groups. I know, I know, slow clap, how impressive. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. the next... That was for the, Martin. The next... The, I was just going to say, I think the next game that's going to be expensive that's going to come up now is uh, Invisible Hours. So yeah, thank grab you, that I think so, too. Oh, thank you, Jake. Um, I don't have that one yet. Jake, it, Jake's Nightmare Nightmare exclusive. Nightmare. Yeah, um, GameStop. GameStop yeah, GameStop had a deal on it too. I think. What did I get it for you at that time, Kurt? Twenty bucks, I believe. I got it. I got yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is it still twenty, or yeah, did it, it go up to twenty? Oh, I want twenty bucks. I, I think it went back to thirty. Right okay. But I, I honestly, if you if you can find it, it's it's not well known enough that I think you can get a used copy for you know that the, the twenty two ninety nine or whatever. You can even right. get it on 
on eBay now, but I see that in six months being higher than Job Simulator, and right. that's going to be well, a hard it's, one to it, find. It's a low limit, like a low release, like they didn't make as many of them yeah. kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I don't have one yet, but I'll look out for it. It should be pretty much everyone right now. In store at uh, cool. GameStop this weekend, I was able to snag a, snag a copy of that. I mean, I know it's not expensive, but I, I don't think it was a huge print, was it, Jake? No, no. Yeah, well, that was another one of those deals. That's perpetual, and that's something we need to talk about. Um, perp or perpetual are based out of UK, and all of their releases have been coming oh, out yeah. in the UK first. Um, we've been slowly getting them. Um, don't knock twice. Was that a will be coming out. exclusive? What's that? VR cards? No, no. Um, in fact, I didn't realize it was there. I thought it was a Best Buy exclusive, actually. Um, but yeah. I see it on Amazon. Yeah, yeah I, think, oh, I think on Amazon, Amazon. and it's it's still only like 20 something bucks. But I, I didn't it expect is, to yeah, find yeah. a brand new physical copy in, in a GameStop. Yeah, but no, actually, for 20 uh, bucks. Yeah, Jake, you're right. To It's called P E R P, right? Like perp? Yeah, yeah. And I've actually reached out to yeah, them, and they. That's one that... They're wanting to release more stateside, but they can't really say when it's going to happen or if it's going to be all their games so, even. How, we need how some cool will this be push from our from have... the listeners or whatever. Exactly. Just tweet at them and that kind of thing because they're the ones that they're going to need You know, people actually um, demanding this game. They so actually followed it. me back on Twitter, which I thought was kind of crazy. Yeah, see? So, That's awesome. That was pretty cool, yeah. So how cool, how cool would it be to bring the developers into something like this and have oh absolutely game. yeah i mean that's that's another just or just I mean, develop so the figure you have to figure they have the vr already right right, yeah. right. You would hope. I would hope. <laughs> the only thing the only thing is then their their avatar would probably get known but that's actually a big surprise because miss uh miss shankensock was actually the developer of Star Trek Bridge Crew. I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm smiling right now. Is that what that was? <laughs> yeah. Is that yeah. that was? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it was, um... My goodness. All right. So, uh... Most anticipated title. Ooh. I'll, I'll start. Uh, go ahead. I, I'm gonna go with Moss. Mm. Um... Wow. The demo. I didn't see that one coming. The demo. <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, we've all been talking about it. It's sarcastic, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you might have you might have saw it coming, but our listeners didn't. That's <laughs> <probably> right, <laughs> Martin. And it's this isn't for you. This isn't for you, Martin. Uh, Not for you. <laughs> no, no, no. No, hey, no. Don't don't make me get stay between you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the demo I thought was amazing. I thought it uh it really conveyed at least what the uh, the core game is going to kind of be. Yeah, yeah the, which is you know looking in looking and looking in on a diorama. It's all it, it felt very Zelda to me. Mm, and yeah. Looking in on a diorama playing a Zelda game. Uh, the puzzle solving was was fun. Um, the the mechanics of of combat was fun. Moving things in the world was fun. It it really just seemed like a, a really cool game. Yeah. yeah. Um. What about you? What, what about you, Jake? Yeah, so, I, and this is really sad. Um, I think it's, is it Bravo or whatever? Not, not. Uh, uh, team Bravo, Bravo or Bravo Team? Ah, uh, no. I mean, okay, that is one that I'm kind of looking forward to. That's the ones by the guy, uh, Supermassive, isn't it? Or not Supermassive. Right. What? Ah. No, su- Supermassive is the, uh, super, super mass- the inpatient is Supermassive. Okay, um, this it, one I think is. it's by them. Yeah. yeah, isn't it by them? I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, the Bravo team? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure. The, the two-player cover shooter? Yeah. Oh, pretty maybe. Sure it is. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. That's like, what, next month? Uh, yeah, March well, something. It's this month, isn't yeah, it? March. Oh, it's March? Yeah. Okay. It's, I, um, that, I'm, March, I I'm interested in that, but there's something else coming out, and I don't know the name of it. That's why we need notes is it the counter, <laughs> to look at. The Counter-Strike one? Yes. Yes. The one and they have... About, yeah, that... I saw... That looks that looks really good. It's it's a full motion. It's not on rails. It's right, like, and full it's got like set up the bomb and like detonate and like you know mm-hmm. like yeah diffuse and stuff like that. I think that could be really fun with the aim I controller. I think it's already out on uh, like Vive and, and HTC. Oh, probably. Hmm. Yeah. But, but I think they just made an announcement that it's coming to PSVR. Or at least they're looking <laughs> into PSVR. Speaking what, of, what do you get? Like that. VR Frank oh, was okay. wrong. VR Frank was yeah. wrong. There is no Fallout 4 coming, at least in the near future. 
Oh, okay. Which is okay. a shame. It's the Frank Show. What? <laughs> Frank Show. Come on, the Frank Show. What? <laughs> Shut up, Frank. John, what about you? I think. Yeah, I was gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say who's left, John and uh, and Martin. John and Martin. Martin. No, I'll go. Um, no, I'm. I'm not a, I'm a fan, but not a fanatic. And um, but that Rick and Morty VR game, um, I saw at PAX, oh, yeah. and there was a line around the block basically just to play it for like the five minute demo or something mm. like that. And it looks awesome. Um, it just looks like you're in a cartoon. So I, I like more. I'm okay with like experiences. I mean, games are fun too. Like you know, I'm having fun with Doom. I'm having fun with Skyrim. Um, but I, I also don't mind just the like it's the experience of you. You are in the game. You're you're in the cartoon or something like that. And that Rick and Morty game to me looks pretty awesome. So I'm yeah. looking forward to that one. Yeah, I'll check that. Oh, out. Oh, and it's called Blood. Okay, so my, real quick, uh, Blood and Truth is the game that's going to be like the gangster. Yes, world yes, VR yes. World. That's that's quickly mine is uh, oh, is because I'm looking at my phone. Blood and Truth coming out this year is what London Heist is going to be into a full game. Uh, that, yeah, be that does look Sorry, excellent. Okay, Martin, go ahead. Cor Martin. Correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong on that though. Is it uh, that's <laughs> it's, it's going to be more on rails, right? It's not a it's not uh, a yeah. full free mm -hmm. free roam. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and Martin, I don't, I don't have last one but not particular least. that I'm looking. I don't have one I'm really looking forward to, but I'll answer with one I wish came out is okay. a full game of Dangan Rampa VR because I played the demo. I love that series, and I played the demo, and it was amazing. I was waiting for it to be uh, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 or whatever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the... Now, that's the one, Zebular, you could probably say. Only one region actually gets the... Uh, yeah, Japan, the, yeah. The, the, the VR. VR yeah. Mode of, and, yeah. I, I can't hold it anymore. I'm going pee. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it right there. That's right. I love how people look like they go lifeless whenever they do that. <laughs> However, if they did make a if they made a PSVR uh, Doki Doki Literature Club, I promise it would sell out. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature. Yeah. Have you not heard of that? No. Uh. Uh. Look. Look it up uh, online. No, no. Never mind then. <laughs> Is this age appropriate? <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's the game that all the cool YouTubers are playing, all the way so with like over a million subs. Really? I'm not, wow. which is probably why I don't have a million subs. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, you need to resort to playing nothing but Minecraft. Yeah, it's all perfect. No, yeah, the real YouTubers yeah. Are, are sitting sitting in the lobby of Werewolves Within. Right, yeah, that's that, where it's that's, that's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, first of all, to let you know our age, this isn't Twitch, so. <laughs> That kind of tells you yeah. that we're all thirty plus, you know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, we we skew to a little bit of an older demographic. I don't know what is your your you guys that listen to our podcast are older, right? Oh yeah, right, absolutely. Uh, I'm rich yeah. as far as we know. Had the first video game show podcast because that was before the word podcast was even a thing. Like it was just yeah a radio show or whatever, like campus radio right. show. The pioneer. That's right. <laughs> yep. What show number are you up to, or do you guys even keep count? That's what's funny about it. Um, uh -oh, I believe here she comes back. Here it comes. Uh -oh. Oh. I believe the number he's up to is like in like five fifty or something by now. But yeah, it's it's completely wow. out of order. I don't know. Uh oh, is she oh, going pee right now? We're getting there. Man. Oh oh oh. oh. I was Are you good? <laughs> just a quick poop. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna lean over here. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. If you want to. <laughs> I don't know how to make a waving, a waving motion. Do something That's like right. That. <laughs> huh? I didn't do it. I didn't. Do it. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I mean, and I, I would like to say going going into the future with this, um, hopefully we can find other lobbies and stuff. Maybe that will actually help with the uh, response time. Um, or maybe even being in an actual group chat, maybe that 
would help. I don't know. I, I mean, we can just try different things out. I think. Uh, I think. I think the group chat. I, I, I like this. I like having an avatar in front of everybody, and yeah. I, I think rec room might work, man. No, I mean, yeah, we can uh, we can try it for sure. You also have control over your yeah. hands. Yeah. yeah, we can try it we'll out try that next yeah, week. Rec room, rec, yeah, rec room's yeah. good. It's just we all have to be pretty close to each other, like within a few feet of each oh, other. Oh yeah, that's right. Somewhere. I did see that before. We, you wouldn't be able to hear us, hey. so we would have to be we'd have to pick a designated area and not really jump around too much. I don't think. Can unless, you not? Can you not just open up open up a private room or anything? No, I think you can. I'm just I'm wondering for your guys' stream, <laughs> private. If 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 is that what Martin's point now? If one person kind of jumps away <laughs> and throws a basketball or something, like will they not be able to be heard or something? We could just test it out. Yeah, right. Time, yeah. That's all. But well, no, I think rate, that's a good idea. At that rate, we could have. At that rate, we could have our avatars, but still have uh, a group chat. Yeah. And yeah. There wouldn't be any distance issues or. And and John, yeah. were you not aware this is this is going to be a nightly podcast? <laughs> yeah, every night. night. We're back tomorrow night. Yeah. Oh, it's every night. It's every. Nice. Every we're, syndi night. we're syndicated. Yeah. 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 John, I got three kids. John's wife. Yeah. Like, when am, um, yeah, John's wife is like, when am I going to play and a wife? Yeah. 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 Um, how about <laughs> two weeks? Two weeks sound good. Every two weeks. Yeah, bi-weekly. That's what we do. Yeah. I, think I was going to say. Um, I only have one third of the dogs every other week, so that definitely helps with my situation. I don't know. <laughs> what do you have? Oh, dog okay. Timeshare? Yes. <laughs> so my girlfriend and her old well, roommate, they. We should probably do this after after the stream is over. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Leave yeah. that. <laughs> that is... <laughs> leave him hanging. <laughs> Just leave him hanging. Yeah. <laughs> To we be continued. That, that, to you know, be we continued. Just, we just established our ongoing joke. That's our yeah, ongoing PSV, joke. Yeah, Amber yeah, will be thrilled. Mark, you know, P <laughs> PSVR pen pals or something. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can, we can have... Uh, we, yeah, you can have your YouTube listeners um, maybe suggest some names for the for the group too. That could be something. Yeah. They can I'm guessing in my particular there. chat, so, there's nobody... <laughs> Saying anything or in there, but John's I'm sure is like blowing up right now. I was gonna, I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure there's nobody in your chat. Zach. You're right. Zake. Jake. Rich was. Rich was for a small period of time. A small second. Here, I'll join it now, and maybe we'll create a black hole because we're both in VR, and I'll join the chat. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so you guys watched the latest Cloverfield last night, right? <laughs> No, no, I want to. Don't though. say anything. No, we should. I'm not. I'm not. I'm oh, not. Okay, yeah, yeah. Don't say. Wait, anything. latest, latest Cloverfield. Yeah, um, the third Cloverfield came out last night, and apparently the fourth one is coming out in October already, which is awesome. Wait, awesome. what? Third yeah, Cloverfield? I don't even know they're making. Wait, which? Netflix. Uh, not Cloverfield Lane, right? No. no, yeah, the third one, Cloverfield. Really? Um, There's a new Cloverfield. The third movie? one's a straight. It's straight yeah. to Netflix. Yeah, yeah. it dropped last what night the, during the what Super am Bowl. I doing here talking to you guys? <laughs> <laughs> Is it any, that's what I'm saying. Was it any good? Did that just jump? Yeah, uh, I liked it. I liked it. Podcast. I mean, is this the net? Is this the Netflix podcast? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what you say. Yeah. Uh, oh, but we, we, were, we were nicely. <laughs> we, we, yeah, we were. I think it would be really cool to get some random guests on here. Um, yeah, if we could get devs to get us, uh, like, beta codes so we could review games, that would be phenomenal. Yeah. What, what do we, you... We would do it honestly. For... <laughs> yeah. Kurt, what do you... We, you know. Kurt was about to laugh about something, I don't know. What? Never mind. I thought for I sure that was... About anything. All right, never mind. All right. So, any ideas, uh, uh oh. topics... Topics next week. I think we should uh, continue to discuss uh, like little. Uh, I don't want to say hidden gems because that's a little overdone. But games <laughs> that people might not know are really good. Right? Hidden yep. gems is good. Okay, hidden gems. <laughs> yeah. Let's make our own own phrase for it. Like uh, uh, undiscovered jewel, uh, uh, jewels. <laughs> right. Undiscovered jewels. And the undiscovered jewel of the week. That's right. How about diamonds how, yeah, in the rough? Yeah, Diamonds virtual jewels. That's not a bad one. That's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Grandpa's hidden candy.
<laughs> and this week on Grandpa's Hidden Candy. Oh man, that that's it's a Werther's. A Spoiler alert! It's a Werther's. I did. Oh, is it? Okay. I, was, I thought you were. I from the bottom of Grandma's Grandma's purse. I thought you were doing it. yeah, that, that family guy. Like, Those are the hey, best kind. Yeah, muscly arm throwing boy. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a silver dollar in my pocket. You just gotta reach it. I can't get it on account of my arthritis. <laughs> my arthritis. John is losing subs as we talk. Oh boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think they're all right. Oh, good, yeah. good. But right. and, and that yeah, is we'll, going we'll to be. Anyway, I was gonna say but... this. This. This is. Uh, that will be the focus going forward. Is family friendly. So. For... Yeah, I think that, I that's what you say. Grandpa's <laughs> hidden candy. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the first and the last. <laughs> <laughs> we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. We'll see the reaction. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. Forget having PSVR in the title. We should just call that the name of the, the whole show. <laughs> Grandpa's Hidden <laughs> Candy. That's what I said. <laughs> okay, what's the acronym for that? G G H G H C. Call it. Yeah. V R Grandpa's Hidden Candy or Grandpa's Hidden Candy VR. <laughs> That's not dirty, I mean, right? That's not dirty. No, it's not. No. Okay, I like it. I think it's it's it, you would you would have to read into it. So if you get your mind out of the gutter, we're right? Just a bunch of guys that are talking about VR in a nerdy uh, lobby, based okay, on a board game. And and <laughs> it's <lobby> then <laughs> and then a legend was you born. Gotta, you got to get below the subtext. <laughs> yeah, a legend was born. Yeah. So tune in. Yeah, so tune in. Uh, Two every weeks other Monday. Yeah, for another episode of. Yep. Grandpa's hidden candy. <laughs> and if anybody wants to sponsor us, like <laughs> or <laughs> oh, I would love that. Rig, rig, Lemonheads. Rig, yes. Yeah, Wrigley Spearmint. I'm a big Nerds fan. Yeah, just, so just so you know. Candies. Yeah, that's right. Nerds and Gobstoppers oh, over here. Shred. <laughs> bring it on. Yeah, what? all the old-fashioned candy. It's all like the shoe button candy <laughs> and like the whorehound candy and trying to think, like. Can we can we get a sponsor that's like those like the licorice pipes? Can we do those? <laughs> oh, the licorice pipes. Uh, the, back in my day, the licorice pipes. Oh, the licorice pipes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that everything's like an innuendo. It's like it's like a Pixar movie or something, and it's kind of fitting the art style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very true. All right. So, uh, Grandpa's hidden candy. Two weeks. Yep. Till next. <laughs> till next time. Thanks, thanks All right. everybody for joining us, All right, John's. And, and yeah. this is this is where John says, "Oh, I lost your guys' contact information." <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was going to say, um, we should plug it really quickly. Uh, Missouri Game Con, um, it's going to be August 4th this year. Correct. Uh, location, location to be determined yet, and yes. uh, you can hang out with all of us live, not even through the uh, art of VR. You'll see us in, in all of our millions of polygons in real yep. life. Yep, millions of polygons. Millions. Millions of polygons, millions of polygons, millions of polygons. All right, and I'm signing out. Note, see you in two weeks. Stay out of Grandpa's candy. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>